I have made a video to explain what quantum computing is and how it works. But now this quantum regime is giving birth to a new phenomenon. It's called the quantum internet. Does it mean super fast speeds and rock solid security? Yes. Let's see how. Quantum internet in today's world is an emerging concept that utilizes quantum phenomena to enable secure and efficient communication and information processing. Just like quantum computing, quantum internet is also the next big leap in internet. Here, data is transmitted as classical bits, zeros and ones. A quantum internet employs qubits, which can represent both zero and one simultaneously due to superposition. This is a fundamental aspect of quantum mechanics. The main advantage of a quantum internet lies in its potential for secure communication. Quantum communication can utilize encryption based on the principles of quantum mechanics, making it extremely difficult for unauthorized parties to intercept or decode the transmitted information. This is due to the no-cloning theorem and the disturbance principle, which are inherent to quantum mechanics. This is not a physics class, so I'm gonna try to keep it as practical as possible. But mentioning these fundamental phenomena is very, very important if you want to dig into the depth of quantum internet. Quantum entanglement, as I talked about it in the video I made about quantum computing, is another crucial phenomenon that could well be utilized for a quantum internet. Entangled particles or systems are linked in such a way that the state of one is directly related to the state of the other, regardless of the distance separating them. This allows for instantaneous communication and has the potential to enable faster-than-light information transfer, although practical challenges in achieving this remain. The challenges in building a quantum internet are mind-boggling, but the experts are on it. The first obstacle is efficiency, establishing and maintaining entangled states over long distances, which currently involves using fiber optic cables. However, photons traveling through fiber optics can suffer from scattering, absorption, or wavelength degradation. Scientists are working on techniques to address these issues, such as wavelength conversion using lasers to improve entanglement over longer distances. In terms of progress, the US Department of Energy has laid out a blueprint for the development of a quantum internet, with milestones ranging from secure quantum information transmission over existing fiber optic cables to establishing entangled networks at various scales, ultimately aiming for a nationwide quantum internet. However, a fully functional quantum internet is still in the research and development phase, with an estimated prototype to be realized within the next decade. Now, you must be wondering that is it anything like normal internet? And will we be able to do everything on the internet today on quantum internet? Well, the clear answer is no. Let me tell you why. Quantum internet, just like quantum computing, does not offer much that most users are used to. You shouldn't expect to be able to jump onto quantum zoom meetings anytime soon at least not for the next few decades. The fact that qubits, which use the fundamental laws of quantum mechanics, behave considerably differently than classical bits is central to quantum communication. Since qubits are superposed, they can be both zero and one in a particular quantum state that does not exist in the classical world. It's as if you could be on both the left and right sides of your sofa at the same time. The paradox is that simply measuring a qubit results in it being assigned a state. A measured qubit, like a classical bit, slips from its dual state and is demoted to zero or one. The entire phenomena is known as superposition, and it is at the heart of quantum mechanics. Unsurprisingly, qubits cannot be utilized to communicate traditional data such as emails and WhatsApp messages. However, qubits' unusual behavior is opening up significant prospects in other, more specialized applications. Quantum internet holds the promise for propagating quantum computing. With the ability to share and quantum data generated with such computers, relevant companies can establish workable networks, the ability to share and process quantum information across the globe. These companies can achieve computational power that far surpasses what is achievable with classical computers. This opens up new frontiers in solving complex problems, optimizing logistics, drug discovery, cryptography, and more. In the field of quantum sensors, the quantum internet can facilitate distributed sensing networks. But for this application, quantum entanglement has to be extremely precise. This will revolutionize measurement taking forever, leading to advancements in geophysics, environmental monitoring, and navigation systems. The distributed nature of the quantum internet allows for a vast array of sensors to work in harmony and provide a detailed and real-time understanding of our environment. Quantum Internet has redefined secure multi-party computation, enabling collaborative data analysis without revealing the raw data itself. Industries that rely on shared data for research or decision-making, such as pharmaceuticals, climate research, and material science, can greatly benefit from this capability. 
Traditional communication security mechanisms today are built on an algorithm for establishing keys that are difficult but not impossible for hackers to break. As a result, researchers are considering making this communication method quantum. The concept is essential to quantum key distribution, or QKD, which is also evolving as a new branch of cybersecurity. QKD works by encoding the encryption key into qubits and having one of the two parties encrypt a piece of classical data. The sender then sends those qubits to the recipient, who measures them to obtain key values. Why bother with entanglement, you might be wondering. After all, researchers may simply improve on the usual version of QKD. Quantum repeaters, for example, might go a long way towards improving communication distance in fiber optic cables without entangled qubits. That is, without considering the enormous potential of entanglement for other uses. Because it is the most accessible use of the technology, QKD is the most commonly mentioned example of what the quantum internet could achieve. However, security is far from the only topic generating interest among researchers. The entanglement network employed in QKD could also be used to provide a reliable method of assembling quantum clusters composed of entangled qubits, situated in distinct quantum devices. To connect to the quantum internet, researchers won't require a very strong piece of quantum gear. In fact, a single qubit processor could suffice. However, scientists believe that by connecting quantum devices with limited capabilities, they will be able to develop a quantum computer that will outperform them all. The use cases of quantum internet do not end there. In the domain of quantum IoT or interconnected quantum devices, the quantum internet is expected to enhance quantum-based distributed computing, allowing for seamless sharing of quantum resources and facilitating collaborative research and development in quantum algorithms and applications. Now, I think I should jump into currently how far we have come in quantum networking, because this domain has already come out of research papers and there are many working prototypes around the world. Until now, no one has been able to establish a large-scale, sustained quantum network successfully. But there have been significant advances. Researchers at China's University of Science and Technology utilized lasers to successfully transport entangled photons between a satellite in orbit and ground stations more than 700 miles below in 2017. The experiment demonstrated the feasibility of employing satellites as part of a quantum network. But the system could only retrieve one photon out of every six million, far too few to be used for reliable transmission. In April 2019, scientists from Brookhaven National Laboratory, Stony Brook University, and the U.S. Department of Energy's Energy Sciences Network achieved entanglement over a distance of 10 miles utilizing portable quantum entanglement sources and a fiber optic network. Since then, their experiment has expanded to encompass an 80-mile quantum network testbed. In January 2020, researchers from the University of Chicago and Argonne National Laboratory successfully tested a 54-mile quantum loop that exploits an existing fiber optic cable buried beneath Chicago's western suburbs. The experiment showed the essential functionality required for a quantum network line by transmitting optical pulses with a delay of only 200 milliseconds. With the loop in place, researchers began testing a broad range of quantum gadgets. The latest big news came in June 2022, when a 35-mile expansion was added to the Chicago network, making it one of the nation's longest. The network now consists of six nodes and 124 miles of optical fiber, transmitting particles carrying quantum-encoded information between the U.S. Department of Energy's Argonne National Laboratory in suburban Le Mans and two buildings on Chicago's south side, one on the U Chicago campus and the other in Hyde Park neighborhood. The extended Chicago network marks a significant increase in the scale of quantum networks and provides the groundwork for potentially larger interstate systems. According to a 2020 report, Russia is also doing a lot of hustle to make a quantum internet. The ITMO National Research University is set to work with the Russian venture company or RVC and use the facilities of the Russian railways to set up a platform for a quantum internet. About 300 million rubles or 4 million US dollars will be set aside for this big project. RVC told Izvestia that this software will make it possible to send different kinds and amounts of secret information. Subscribe to Innovella for more blues from the world of AI and technology. My masterclass on quantum computing is on your screens. Click now so you know everything before this technology also outdates. See you there!